Surveyors make precise measurements to determine a property's boundaries. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for surveyors, what kind of money they make, and we will cover the top five highest paying states for surveyors. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up to support this channel. Surveyors make precise measurements to determine a property's boundaries. They provide data relevant to the shape and contour of the Earth's surface for engineering, map making, and other construction projects. When taking measurements in the field, surveyors use GPS, which is basically a system of satellites. Surveyors also use geographical information systems to present spatial information visually as maps, reports, and charts. There are actually many different kinds of surveyors. Mine surveyors survey and map tunnels, usually to underground mines. Marine surveyors survey harbors, rivers, and other bodies of water. Forensic surveyors survey and record accident scenes after a natural disaster. To become a surveyor, you need a bachelor's degree. Also, most states require surveyors to be licensed, which can take years. This first chart shows where surveyors tend to work. 69% work for engineering services, about 10% work in government, 8% work in construction, 6% are self-employed, and 2% work in the oil and gas industry. Of these different industries, government tends to pay surveyors the most amount of money, with an average wage of around $71,000. The oil and gas industry is next, with an average base salary of around $65,000, construction about $63,000, and engineering services around $61,000. Unfortunately, the Department of Labor does not track the incomes of surveyors that own their own businesses. So the salary statistics for the rest of this video will not include the incomes of this group of people. As I said before, 6% of surveyors own their own businesses, which is pretty good, but it is less than some of the other similar occupations. About 40% of construction managers own their own business, 9% of building inspectors, and about 19% of landscape architects. Next, let's take a look at the national job market. There has been a lot of volatility in the number of jobs for surveyors. In the year 1999, the government recorded 50,150 jobs for surveyors. The number of jobs fell after the dot-com bust, rose, and then the Great Recession occurred. From 2008 to 2012, surveyors lost over 15,000 jobs collectively. By the year 2018, the government recorded 45,310 jobs for surveyors. So over a 20-year time period, the number of jobs fell for surveyors by about 5,000. Despite this, the government is modestly optimistic regarding the future job growth of surveyors. Demand for surveying services is tied to construction. If construction ramps up, the number of surveying jobs increases. If construction slows down, the number of surveying jobs tends to decrease. But one threat to surveyor jobs is advancements in surveying technology. Many jobs that used to require a team of surveyors now only require one. This chart is showing the anticipated job growth of surveyors and other similar occupations. The government is predicting an addition of about 3,000 jobs over the next 10 years. This is faster than geographers, but it's less than civil engineers and building inspectors. Next, let's take a look at what surveyors earn nationally. In the year 1999, the average base salary for a surveyor was about $36,400. Then in 2018, the national base salary had risen to about $66,440. So the average base salary for surveyors rose by about $30,000 over a period of 20 years. Looking deeper into these 2018 numbers, the starting salary for a surveyor would be anywhere between a little under $35,000 and up to $47,000. This would be around the 10th and 25th percentile. So how much do the top 10% of surveyors earn? They start at about $102,000 and go up from there. Finally, let's take a look at which states are best for surveyors. The average National base salary is around $66,000 per year, but certain states on average pay much more than this. So let's take a look. First, we are headed north to the Empire State. This is the state of New York, where the average surveyor earns $83,050. Next, we are headed southwest to the Silver State. This is the state of Nevada, where the average surveyor earns around $83,220. Next, we are headed north to the state known as the Last Frontier. This is the state of Alaska, where the average surveyor earns $87,050. Next, we are headed close by, but we're heading south to the Evergreen State. We are headed to the state of Washington, where the average surveyor earns $87,150. And finally, we're headed south again to the Golden State, 
We're going to the state of California where the average surveyor earns $93,090. Those are currently the five best paying states for surveyors. Are you interested in becoming a surveyor? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.